Hello folks, this is Anthony with Honda Snowblower Enthusiast. Today I want to show you how RPMs can affect the performance of your machine. We're always telling people at fast throttle, you know, your machine should be at 3600 or whatever it says on the Honda, on the owner's manual. Most most Hondas are 3650 plus or minus uh, 150. A lot of the machines that come into my shop, like this one here, this was at 3000 at fast throttle. And, and then you could be complaining about the performance or it's bogging down or, you know, in the berms or whatever, you can't go very fast. So let me do a, do a check here of this machine. This machine is around 3000 <coughs> at fast throttle and it should be around 3600. They're, they're identical machines. They're both 824s or 80s. This one's at 3600 where it should be. And we're going to test each one to show you uh, the difference in the performance. Okay. Let me start with this one first. I just want to, I want to check the RPMs first and then we'll check the machines. All right, this one's at 3,600. Oh, I should have started this before. They're both warmed up, by the way. Can you see that? 3,000. All right, let's test these machines. I'm going to use the same gear, first gear, the same snow, and the same berm. That looks like it's throwing a lot, about 12, 15 feet. Kind of bogging down a little bit. Can you can you hear the difference? <coughs> I don't know if you could hear the difference in the engine, but the engine was bogging down a little bit. I gotta do my driveway anyway. Can, can you guys give me permission to do another pass? All right, now I'm gonna use second gear. It's definitely bogging down a little bit. That's throwing about 15 feet. Yeah, hear it? It's bogging down pretty good a little bit. Going through the berm. So I hope you can hear that. It was bogging down a little bit, and then when it got to the berm, it was bogging down a little bit more. Throw in the snow, uh, 12 to 15 feet. Uh, so that's at 3,000. Let's try this one. 3,600, where it should be. All right, let's try, try first gear. It will take a full bite. It doesn't appear to be bogging down at all. And as you can see, <coughs> it was throwing it much further.
Alright, let's uh, try second gear. Wait a minute. I want to take a full bite. Try to be fair. Now it's going faster. Not bogging down at all. It's uh, throwing the snow. Uh, I forgot to mention at the at the beginning of this video that I took the pads out of the impeller kit. So I made the machines as even as possible. So if you could see, this wasn't bogging down at all, and it was throwing the snow 30 or 40 feet compared to this one, which was, you know, you could hear a slight bogging down, and when it got to the uh, berm, it was really bogging down, especially in the second gear. So I had to take it much slower. This machine can still do the job at 3,000 RPMs, but uh, it would take longer, of course. This is the exact same machine. Uh, 600 more RPMs, that's a 20% bump in your power. So it was pretty obvious this machine won. It was throwing 30, 40 feet. It wasn't bogging down at all in either first gear or second gear. So this is why I'm always asking people, what's your, what's your fast throttle? What's your fast throttle? And I, you know, I use a little, little tack, a uh, small engine tachometer with an alligator clip on the end. You know, you could just clip it on your, on your spark plug wire instead of, instead of wrapping the, uh, the wire around. They're about 15, 20 bucks on eBay or, or uh, Amazon. So I hope this shows you that RPM can make a difference on your performance on your Honda snowblower. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this, you think it helps you, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.